that is a revealing of the wisdom of God. God made us spirit, soul, and body. And in order to fully appreciate the design of God, which leads to extraordinary unlocking, I promise you, is one key. And that is to understand that we are created in the image of God. God is a triune God. Three persons, one God. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And when we look at the Bible, we learn that Father, Son, and Holy Ghost all have their own minds. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that no man knows the day or the hour of his coming, not the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. <laughs> so, the Father has things in his mind that are not allocated to the mind of the Son, because they have their own minds. Who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. God in his eternal wisdom plugged us as believers in the priesthood of the order of Melchizedek into the mind of Christ, but did not plug us the same way into the mind of the Father, the mind of the Lord. We are interacting with a God who has all wisdom. And in his manifestation, three persons, one God, he reveals the wisdom that he put in human design. You are three persons, one human. Your body's a person, your soul's a person, spirit's a person. Why does that sound so weird? I promise you, it's not. And I'm telling you this because when your spirit comes forward, he has, or she has, her own mind. And you will find yourself having a conversation with the eternal part of you. If you don't have that key, what we do next won't make much sense. The first time I encountered my spirit, I called my spirit forward and I said, Daniel Spirit, I bless you, I honor you, and I invite you to be present at the service. What happened was I felt a presence. It was a large presence, and it stood right on top of me. And it started making declarations. And those declarations were in line with everything that I've been journaling that I was disagreeing with God about. You ever hear God say something to you and you say, not nah, you got the wrong guy? Like Gideon, thou mighty man of valor. Who are you talking to, fool? Right, so he gets in an argument with the angel. How many of you have been in an argument with God himself? Because he says something about you that's too big for your stinking thinking to accept. I've been there. So my spirit was the part of me that agreed with God and my soul was having an issue. And so when my spirit stood up, he started making these declarations and they were I am declarations. Owning identity. You know, it's interesting when we begin to own identity, the religious spirit responds with accusations. What'd you do with your humility? Sounds like pure pride. Who do you think you are? And I'll tell you, the church is not a safe place for the spirit of man. But right here, it's a safe place for the spirit of man. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to bless your spirit. So call your spirit forward. Some of you are going to have an encounter right away, just like that. Some of you are not. And I'll tell you, <laughs> we have plenty of people that can minister to you some breakthrough if you are unable to connect with your spirit. And 